Esselamu Aleyküm ve Rahmetullahi ve Berekatuhu. Elhamdülillahi ve salatu ve selamu ala seyyidina Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Kala Allahu Teala Azze ve Celle fil kitabil kerim. Euzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Ve kale rabbukum ud'auni estecib lekum. Ve kale fi ayetil uhra. Ve iza se'eleke ibadi anni fe inni qarib. Ucibu da'vete da'i iza da'an. فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ وَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللّٰهِ صَلَى اللّٰهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ اَدْدُعَا هُوَ الْعِبَادَةِ Respected brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome back to the regular daily SNMC Ramadan session. One of the resources that we as Muslims, believers, have in these difficult uh, moments of calamity uh, is a dua. It's a prayer, it's a supplication uh, that we have as a tool in our hands that God Almighty has given us as a gift, specifically during the month of Ramadan. Dua is a tool that we can inshallah use, utilize at moments when everything goes well and moments when things go down the hill, when we face challenges. Muslim scholars have defined dua to mean calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to give us some good or calling upon him to repel some evil, some challenges and calamities from us. Linguistically speaking, dua means to ask, to request, or demand something. In Sharia, in our, our law, it is defined as displaying uh, our needs for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his assistance. Acknowledging that he is in control. Or, in an essence, some sort of humility and humbleness that we have in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dua in practical sense means a relief for a burdened heart or a sympathy for a bitter disappointment. It's a guidance in times of extreme happiness or great perplexity that we could have in our lives. It is also a sign of composure in moments of excitement and moments of chaos. So my brothers and sisters, as you could see, this tool, this beautiful uh, resource that God Almighty has given to you and I, if we utilize it according to some norms, uh, we would certainly benefit out of it. And not only us, many others around us. We know very well that most of Muslims, specifically in the month of Ramadan, are asking a lot. They make many du'as. They ask for themselves. They ask for global peace. They ask for coronavirus uh, not to affect our, our self or our uh, globally brothers and sisters. But what is interesting is that some of these du'as or most of these du'as are not responded. There is no positive response to them. Not now or maybe not later. Why there is no response? We would ask ourselves. And that is exactly what many adults and many children would ask. There are certain conditions that must be met before our du'as are accepted. There are also certain obstacles that stand between us and God Almighty, between our du'as and God Almighty's response. There are also ways of manners of how to make du'a. Of course, we also have to know about some specific people who do have that opportunity of having a direct uh, relations with God Almighty, such in terms of uh, dua, 
such as people who fast. There are some places that are much more prone to be effective in terms of dua as well as times than others. So at this point of time, inshallah, I would like to discuss only conditions of dua and then inshallah in the next session I'll be talking about some of the obstacles as well as who are the people from whom duas are accepted, what are the best times to call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and which are the best places in which we can inshallah make our duas. In regards to uh, conditions, uh, we know very well that in many of the uh, verses of the Quran, God Almighty tells us, if you do this, this would happen. If you call on me, I'll respond, I, I will, I will uh, respond on your call. If you help my faith, I will help you. I will make your uh, feet firm in front of any trouble, and so on and so on. As far as dua is concerned, my brothers and sisters, there are a few of the important conditions that Muslim scholars have outlined and we need to take them seriously. First condition is that we need to direct our du'as solely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَدَعُوهُ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ Call him, call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sincere to him in your faith, in your religion. Call him. وَدَعُوهُ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ It has to be done with ikhlas, with sincerity. وَإِذَا سَأَلْتْ فَاسْأَلِ اللَّهِ and when you ask, ask of Allah. When you seek for help, seek for help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. But this does not mean that we can ask medical doctor to help us when we are sick. This does not mean that we don't uh, take medication uh, during times of sickness. Not at all. But this means only that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one who is in charge and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has results in his own hands. So it is very much important to realize that we as Muslims, we make the dua solely to Allah sincerely and inshallah, uh, if we meet this condition and we meet other conditions, it would be responded to us positive. Number two condition is trust in Allah and certainty of response or reply from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We could not say, Ya Allah, if you want, uh, accept our dua. La yaqulanna ahadukum, Allahu maghfir warhamni in shi'at. Allahu maghfirni warhamni in shi'at. Oh Allah, if you want, forgive me and be merciful to me. But we say, or we, we make dua, وَدْعُوا اللَّهَ وَأَنْتُمْ مُقِنُونَ بِالْإِجَابَةِ You, as Prophet peace be upon him, told us, you call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are certain that God Almighty would respond to you. وَأَنْتُمْ مُقِنُونَ بِالْإِجَابَةِ And the third condi condition, as uh, Ibn Rajab, may Allah be pleased with him, tells us, is one of the most important conditions, and that is حُضُورُ الْقَلْبِ Presence of the heart. God Almighty would not accept dua that comes from inattentive and unmindful heart. God Almighty would not accept dua that comes from the heart that is inattentive and that is unmindful. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, as you could see, these are three important conditions. One, that we sincerely call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, that we trust in Allah's response. That we know with certainty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would respond when we call upon him. And that our heart is present in dua. It is not only lip service. We pray to God Almighty, inshallah, that we will be of those who would uh, abide by these uh, three conditions. And that we would be of those, inshallah, who would uh, as we will be speaking later on in some of the sessions, that we will be of those who will also know about what are some of the obstacles, what are some of the manners, who are the best people, who, what are the best timings and places 
to call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our du'as, inshallah, uh, to make us of those who would be on the right path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our du'as for ourselves in times of coronavirus, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves us from this pandemic. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our du'a, accept our du'a uh, against coronavirus uh, and, and save all of our human brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.